So, full assassin. It does not make sense. It has no health, and it doesn't have burst capability. Is it truly assassin then? Like, if you play a MOBA, an assassin character, if an assassin character gap closes on you, you're pretty much dead because they, when they first hit you, they, they destroy your health. They prevent you from healing, and they usually have crits and stuff like that to make it super hard for you to survive the initial attack. And then they hit you two more times and you die. Assassin in this game has none of that. That's none of it. For you to get a true assassin build, you got to play protector assassin. Or vanguard assassin. You actually have to put in shotguns into the build and then throw assassin stuff into it. Like you'd play double shotgun, caretaker, triplane, caretaker or natural and then you throw in ring of the veil and then you throw in blink strike or temporal rush that's it that's all you got that's how you play assassin in this thing you have to do a double banner mix where the assassin banner does not give you what its name implies it doesn't because none of the assassin weapons blow things up like the funny thing is, out of the two guns, out of the out of the primaries, out of the Wraith and the Code of Fusion Constant, the Code of Fusion Constant is more of an assassin's weapon than the Wraith is. The Wraith is more of a primalist weapon than the Code of Fusion Constant is. Like, if you flip them banners, those guns would make more sense. The, the banners don't make sense. Like, the only thing that is similar between a Code of Fusion Constant and a Lost Dreamer are their colors. That's it. But they don't behave similarly at all. The Code of Fusion Constant blows people up. Like an assassin's weapon would. It has very little ammo, but does crazy amounts of damage really fast. Especially if you're up close. That's an assassin's weapon. A primalist weapon is what the submachine gun does. Submachine gun, as it hits you, it brings down your cooldown pretty quick. It brings your cooldown faster because you're hitting it with both guns. You multiply that energy on hit times two. So, and it has combined, the 16 is really like 32, right? So, so 16 times that number times two is really what you're getting. So the thing is, the Wraith behaves what like a uh, like what a uh, primalist weapon would do. Helps you get cooled down quick. Does really good damage at a decent amount of range. Where the Code Diffusion Constant has the exact same range, but it has half the ammo. Actually, no, it has a quarter of the ammo, but does crazy amounts of damage, like a true assassin's weapon would. Like, I think they should flip the banners of those two guns like yesterday. Like, I don't understand how they're not the opposite. They do the opposite of what they claim to do. Like, what, what the banners, they don't they don't fit the banners they're in. They fit the opposite banner. Like, I don't get it. But I think if they're going to design Assassin's Weapon, they better start making them bursty as F. Because they, they're not bursty. They, they don't, they don't kill things. That's why people are asking for melee weapons. At least then that makes sense. They do crazy amounts of damage and they're super short range. You gotta be close. Pra melee. Ah, melee. Like that's why I, that's why I made that 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 during um May the Fourth be with you during Star Wars Day. That's why I created the Starlight Sword. Basically, it's a lightsaber by another name. But the way I designed it is it's a star shard mixed in with a catalyte crystal, and when they infuse together, they create a really intense beam of 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 light that allows you to do or of energy that allows you to freaking do crazy amounts of damage its range is like five but you have to be in close um and if you catch people from the back it does double damage like an assassin's weapon from a d and d like if i catch you from behind i do way more damage 
and then like I came up with a stupid number like that because it it it's like almost a hundred and something like it takes like one or two charges to it has like two or three charges but you have to actually I don't remember if it was an ability or if it's a weapon I think it's a heavy weapon if and then you have to actually pick up ammo I don't think the the, the ammo rate was really high but I think you'd have to pick up two to get one to get it completely back but it can hold up to three charges you can swipe 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 and then you can take somebody out like an assassin would so that's the thing like that's what's missing here there is no true assassin's weapon that behaves like an assassin weapon none of them do it like you could also create an assassin's weapon that behaves sort of like Taka's x rentu what that was it's it's uh it's a ninja type character my dude would jump at you and do a giant x on you and then like cause you bleeding damage and crazy amounts of stuff like he he, he hurt you bad like that's that's kind of the thing it's a it's a it's basically a gigantic jump oh hit you stuff like that would be cool <laughs> funny <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm telling you, swords would be awesome in this game. It's just, like, that's one way you could do a primary sword. A primary sword is, it's a short-range weapon, but it, it, it has, like, a, a dash forward. Every time you use it, you push forward. So it, it's literally a gap-closing short-range weapon. That's an assassin's weapon, too. Like, anything that would be short-range, but they gap-close and do good amount of damage when they hit people... That's what people would need. Like, it's three to four shots. Like, uh, 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 uh. But it would do, like, um, maybe around 300 per shot. Like, off of the stuff. Because it's only four shots. But you got to get close. Or even 350 per shot. And then again, or if you did it, like, 150 or 100 and, or 200. Every time you hit somebody from behind, you do more damage. If you just get behind people, they're running away. You... Temporal rush, attack, attack, you freaking you decimate them. That's the key. Backstabs are what I'm literally describing. But yeah, that's assassin. It's all right. It's just no burst weapon, no health. So that's another reason why You'll never see me play full Assassin. You always see me play a mixture of it. And that's why most people who do play Assassin never play full Assassin. They're always playing two Assassin to something else. It's the best way to play Assassin. Full Assassin in this game, eek, just give that an X. It's useless. It's sort of like almost full Protector in this game. Doesn't work very well either. You have all that health, but you can barely kill anything. So, whoopsie doo. If you're going on one-on-ones, fantastic. But if you're going on one on one on a one v two, a one v three in the game, eh -eh, you ain't surviving. That's the mistake about all of the weapons. Like a primary, a, a protector should be able to fight two to three people with that health bar and the weapons that they have. That's not what happens. The only way you can fight multiple people in this game is to drop a mortar on people by surprise. That's it. That's really super technical it's heavies that's that fight multiple people you ain't got weapons that can sit down and fight a crowd anymore you have no way to do that anymore like that's what i miss pre-war mode weapons were at the point where like sincerity was freaking my my build my build counter for most things was sincerity objective objection it was the it was my way to shut down builds that were giving me super lots super amounts of trouble. It was the it was my go to build. It's sincerity, objection, temporal rush, bracer of dedication. Those four things. That's how I used to fight off most builds that were like problematic. Um, chain guns also the way they used to work. The, the main one has been made really powerful. The heavy is not crappy. Where a patch ago, the heavy was good and the main one sucked. 
Like, I, I don't know why they can't have them both work good at the same time anymore, but that's what you feel. It's not, it's, I haven't felt them being both solid since 0 0.6. 0 0.6 was the last time um, both heavy and primary miniguns or chain guns felt good. They don't feel, they don't feel good. Not together. That's why if you see the Vanguard build I played was the Splintered Fate with the Trine Plane because that is a strong combo. Both chain guns, not so much. Not a strong combo at all. Because what the Trine Plane does is it gives you burst like a assassin weapon should. And then you have what you call it the Splintered Fate, which is just so OP right now that people who get it think that they're unkillable except that when you prove to them that they're super easy to kill snipers can get them shotgun builds can get them like there's a there's so many ways mortars can get them the the chain guns problem is if it ain't hitting something it doesn't have anything even if it slowed healing it wouldn't help because you couldn't survive <laughs> Even if it was a thing, yeah, what you mean, it's basically bleeding damage, right? Like, bleeding or crit. Like, th that's one of the things that none of them have. Like, if the if assassin banners had, like, poison and what they, or toxin, what it literally prevents you is it delays your healing even more, then okay. But it doesn't have that either. So it has nothing. It has nothing that really makes it assassin. There's no thing about assassin that's truly assassin what that would do was would create burst that's the, what's missing from these weapons they have no brace burst capability the burst capabilities are in vanguard and protector where assassin which is a burst in almost every other version of assassin i've seen in every other game it's a burst build it's I do so much massive damage off you, the next time I hit you, you die. That's not what these do. It, it's poison or toxin, but it's exactly what you're saying. It's something that either delays healing or it's it's hurting you. It's it's consistently doing damage. That prevent, It's sort of like fire. That's what I think the fire is going to do. It prevents you from being able to heal because you're taking damage still. As long If it could delay damage... If it could delay healing, yeah, then these builds would be, Assassin would be devastating, but it doesn't. <laughs> so, it, it's it's not. It's the same problem with Primal Hunter. Primal Hunter is a weird build, too. Without a Hearthless Gauntlet that can do 65, 65%, Primal Hunter is a broken banner also. It's so bad that... I, I'm playing it with an assassin stuff, but my health sucks. I, I can't really face primals anymore, and I can't really face humans that well either. So I'm basically at a build that has no purpose. I, I'm, I'm in the island, and I'm going to die a lot. And that's the problem with it. It's... They got to give it something. That's what I'm trying to keep saying, that make it do half as much damage or do a quarter damage to creeps too or gigantic things make it help you beat overseers faster make it help you beat imperial guardians faster make it help you beat keepers faster because then it actually has more than one freaking purpose right now if i can't fight primals and i can't fight people that's why this whole stream i said i ain't even playing it I am not going full Primal Hunter so I can just basically be waxed and killed. It has no health. Like Assassin. <laughs> like Sniper is more... Sniper is actually a stronger build if you have the right gun. And you're playing it effectively. And you can play keep away. But if you have a shotgunner or a flat cannon person or a, or a person using freaking... um rocket launchers or snipers also or you have more than one person fighting you you're screwed <laughs> the best i've ever done 
was fend off f five people running at me with a sniper rifle. I killed each one of them with objection shots, and then I died. But I fought up five people by myself. But the reason I couldn't make it is the the brace of dedication is not giving me enough ammo. <laughs> So I ran out of ammo after I, I, one, two, three, and then they ran up on me and I had a primal eye as my secondary or my primary. <laughs> what was that going to do? The only thing that was killing them was the objection. I was popping each one of them as they were running at me and they were real people. Right after I couldn't shoot the objection anymore, guess what? Dead. <laughs> so that was in 0.7. When you needed heavy ammo, and without heavy ammo, you had nothing. So, yeah, man. I keep saying it, man. These primaries suck. You're you're at a point in this game. People say players, players, players. It's not about players. Numbers are not gonna basically do anything for you. So if you're in a game and you're a known player, and people are like, oh, that's a high guy. I'm gonna go get him. And then you, you're being double team or triple team. You can't stop it. <laughs> you can get pissed. And then get your primal and a bunch of stuff ready and freaking kill all five people. But then after that's over, the death begins all over again. <laughs> so, man, I don't know. I did sniper. Ooh, support. Let's go support. Let's get Sean a let's get Sean a, a, a play, and then I'll switch over to the other one. So I'm gonna show two versions of support build. They both need the miser because it's the only support heavy in the game. Um, support has I have so many choices to choose from in support. Um, for capture the flag, believe it or not, Wind Warfare totem is really good. It's a giant speed pad. That's the problem. I thought about that too. <laughs> when people are like. More players are gonna make it better. No, more players are gonna make it harder because it's gonna be more people doing the same thing. After I did a video telling people go north and south, more people started going north and south, leaving me with less stuff when I need it. That's all that happens. It doesn't make the game easier for you. It's just as hard. It's that's that's what happens. That's why the games get more difficult and if you're playing with people who understand rotations in Eventide, and you're playing with people who kind of don't get the rotations in Eventide, or there's two of you who gets it, and the rest of your five or six other people have no understanding of it, and the other team you're playing, five of the seven people do, you're screwed. That's literally how it works. It's just understanding what you're doing. If you got a game that's full, and both all the people understand what's happening then it's gonna be a war it's gonna go back and forth and i've had those where four or five four or five of us are opposing each other and it's going back to back where one team one team is ten thousand and the other one's two thousand away the other team gets the stuff hold it brings the other team within a thousand of losing then the other team gets it back 500 you get it back 800 they get it back and then it you lose like it's it's literally whoever can get the last few outposts and hold them the longest is gonna win the game some in those games if you don't make the right decision sometimes like screw the middle and go for the edges and hold the edges instead like there was one time we were we were playing a game where we were losing we managed to finally get four outposts we had the center and then the center was about to be taken and I didn't have a primal, and uh, there was a corner outpost at the in the in the right hand corner of the screen, or left hand corner of the screen. I jumped to that and went to go get it. So as soon as they took out the middle, I had then right after they take the middle, I took that outpost. Countdown, we win. I don't do that, we lose that game. So that's just map awareness and not being middle focused like the problem a lot of people are they they two mean so much more to them than five like it's weird five one point is more than two so you want to get 
the five. <laughs> so that's the trick. Um, if you can, if you can see it, that's literally how I play, and that's how um, I get wins, even when I don't think I'm gonna. But little things like that are what makes the difference in the game. Um, Windwalker. This, 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 this. But I actually prefer this. Bracelet of the Firstborn. One, it's got really great health. And invulnerability is always better <laughs> than more damage. And it's not that much more damage. It's okay more damage. If they made this start at like 8% or even 10%, let's see, 15, 10, I guess this started at 5. I think it's going to go as high as like 8, at 10 maybe. No, nah, probably as high as 8, no more than that. Because the thing is, whenever you give multiple people the same thing, the bonus is less because you're giving it to more. That's why. What makes this good? I have tinkers on my mods. And then this also gives me more ammo. What is this at? And this originally used to have only six charges too. They upped it to eight, which is nice. Um, also, its original max health used to be 15. <laughs> they brought it to 35 and then dropped it back down to 20. <laughs> but you used to have more speed too. I think you used to have 15 speed. Almost everything used to give you speed. Yeah, like if you roll near your teammates, you get, you get um, boost. You get a boost, they get a boost. Now if you had the totem, and then you had Nullum Guard, yeah, all of that is stacking. So that'd be five extra percent, plus 12%, plus the 15% for my Nullum Guard. Yeah, all of that would stack. That would be all extra damage. So yeah, they, they, everything would stack. There's no reason why it wouldn't. It's not multiplying, but it's definitely adding to each other. No, they would have to have the talisman also. Now, if let's say there was three of us with it, one guy rolls and rolls into people, and then a guy moves out and he rolls back in, and then we roll, we all could keep we can keep um adding it onto ourselves, like keep us all in that position. But yeah, I think that can be done, but it doesn't last a very long time. So, like the funny thing about them is too, they're so short. In duration sometimes it doesn't even it's not even worth it so it's like about two seconds it's not that bad I thought it was worse two seconds ain't that bad um, let me see the shields for empathy band like you see the shield duration here is like 1.6 that's that's almost nothing and it grows too so you start at two seconds and it, it gets to become more and also the distinct the strength of the bonus is also grown too Wrong person. So this is the man that runs that. So when working totem is useful because you can aim the totem ahead of you and then you can actually get a speed boost as you go. And it lasts a long time.